Yo! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Boo. Can y'all not tell, man? I am so excited. You guys know what day it is. It's time to sit here for the next hour and look at some goddamn clothing, man. Some goddamn bricks. Oh my god, I am so excited. I, as always, I promise y'all, I have not seen a single item from this season yet. I've made sure of it. I've stayed off Instagram. I've stayed off Reddit. The only website I visited all day is your sister's only fan. So y'all, man, this is gonna be a live reaction. It should be a fun one. If you've never seen my lookbook reactions before, Get some popcorn, maybe go get some water, hydrate yourselves because we're gonna be here for a while going over some of my favorite items. Let's just begin this video. Drop a like if you guys are excited. Let me know your favorite items from the season, what you rate this season overall, and maybe some stuff I missed. As always, I have to remind you guys before we begin the video, if you want to join my free Discord, hit me up on my Instagram at Boone. And if you want to join my private cook group where we help people to learn how to resell stuff online, it might just be the best place to go when it comes to reselling Supreme because every single week I do a huge write up of the best items to go for and that's how I make money myself boys like I don't just buy these bricks for y'all's entertainment I mean I do week one is probably the best time to make your maximum profit off of supreme for this season if you want assistance with buying and reselling stuff hit us up on Instagram app browser to join my group and yeah let's begin this video I'm so excited man I hope you guys are too let's get into it oh here we are man we are on the website I'm so so excited like I just came and tell you guys I've waited two months to waste my money on this garbage and what we're about to see is going to dictate pretty much my happiness for the next several months. I know it's pathetic to say, but it's true. Y'all know I live and breathe this shit and this is a big season for Supreme man I've definitely seen like a lot of positive reception ever since the Tremaine Emery hiring and just in general ever since the Carlisle group sold this brand This is a huge season for Supreme to build some momentum. Let's get into it, man Oh my god, I'm gonna try my best to skip over the doo-doo I feel like I waste too much time every lookbook reaction on the garbage So we're really gonna try to highlight the good stuff. Let's go to the jacket section and let's begin I'll try to calm down. I'm sorry starting it up off. Don't give a shit about these. Let's just throw them out the window, bro. We see this exact same park every season. Moving on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't ever really buy the faux furs. Um, there was like the bandana one that I did end up buying and I barely made any money off it because the price is just way too high for these, but this is a super sick one. I've never seen a faux fur jacket in general that looks like this. All the colors going on, the blending, like it almost looks like a needle style faux fur jacket. This is crazy. This is actually super sick. Might even have some profit. Is that a little green hit? That's kind of bizarre. I just love to see new stuff from Supreme, even if it's wild and crazy. So I'm a fan of that. Moving on, uh, Supreme Great China Wall Hooded. I mean, this is kind of cool. Uh, we all know what kind of person is going to be rocking this one, and you definitely want to stay on their good side. That's all I'm going to say. Next up, a uh, scripture card denim jacket. All right. A uh, little crazy for me, but definitely an interesting concept. These are just fucking weird, bro. I mean, I just seen that's my boy Gons on the backside. This is actually cooler than I thought it was because the front is also blank, but. A little too bizarre for me. Kind of funny though. Oh, okay. Micro down half zip hooded pullover with the Paisley pattern. I have seen from Drops GG there is going to be some Paisley Hanes this season. I am really hoping they don't go too overboard with it because we already had a whole bandana season. I don't need another one and I'm kind of over bandana prints. That being said, this is a kind of cool jacket. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Yes, sir. The Jeff Hamilton jacket that's going to be 15 racks. So why are we even talking about it, man? I'm not going to be able to afford this. Are are you? No, hell no. These could even sit on the website. They are going to be very limited though. It's super sick. I would love to be able to see one of these in hand, but um, we're not going to. I'm not buying this, boys. No light goal will be set for this shit, but it's cool. Let's keep going. Studded quilted leather jacket. Wow. Whoa. This, I got to look at this in a different color. Um, Yo, this is crazy for sure, man. This is a Scott jacket as well. I don't believe so, um, but this is actually a pretty sick one. Gonna be really expensive, but man, that's actually really dope. The backside hit as well, that's crazy, man. Um, I don't know, a little too loud for me. And truthfully, I just came in afford that fucking retail. Definitely a cool leather jacket. These world famous tracks are terrible. Faux fur collar, damn, bro. This is a pretty sick one. Um, I'm not gonna be rocking this or nothing, but actually a really cool jacket. That green one is catching my attention for sure. We're not even gonna talk about the blazers. We just, we don't do that over here, unfortunately. And Raymond Pettibon, so the bring back Raymond, that's cool, uh, he's done with a bunch of artwork for different bands and stuff uh kind of a dull puffer though to be honest um i don't know it kind of reminds me of the iggy pop one they did before definitely like a similar design scheme but pretty basic i don't know not too crazy about this woven hooded jacket let's take a peek at this okay i i don't think it needed to say a supreme as much as it does let's look at another color 
I mean, this is pretty dope. I gotta be real with y'all. This could be a cop. All right, like I'm actually kind of fucking with this. The middle colorway, that brown is really nice. The gray as well, man. The navy I'm not feeling, but actually really sick. The more I look at this one, I'm actually vibing with it. Hopefully like 198 or so. Might be a sick one right here though. Both for reversible MA1. Oh, wow. Hold on. Okay. No, this is actually pretty sick, man. I've gotten pretty stale with the MA1s they do every season, but this might be my favorite so far, and I think this reverse side is a lot sicker. Actually, both sides are pretty cool. Let's keep it real. Baby blue might be a problem. Now, this is not really something I'm going to cop personally, but I actually think this might be one of the better performing MA1s we've seen in a little while. The Vanson, that's kind of sick. It's a denim jacket. I did not expect that. Um, the Vanson collabs have been actually super sick recently, but I can never afford them, just like half of this fucking lookbook. Bro, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Let's keep going. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Like, what the fuck is going on with this shit, man? Um, I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, I would never fucking wear that. Definitely not my favorite print I've seen from Supreme, but um, these reversible puffers are actually pretty sick. I like how clean and basic they kept them. Too boring for me. Too boring. We need some good shit, man. Where's that good shit? Uh, Windstopper vest slash Gore-Tex shell. Kind of sick. Reminds me of that RTG collab, but it's going to be a no. Looks kind of weird with the vest attached. Don't even care about those twill jackets. Quilted leather their work jacket wow these are sick i mean i wish they just did a normal quilted jacket i like quilted jackets leather expensive i'm broke we got it next up layered denim truck jacket i don't think i'm gonna be buying one but i do kind of dig those um puffer jackets no thanks those look terrible velour i could care less cotton utility we've seen a billion times two-tone pant no 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 oh here we go boys the griffin is here it's about time it's about time to get excited over something the jackets have been a little bit uh, so far but this is what I'm talking about. We were supposed to see this jacket last season. It got canceled or something. And here it is, man. These are so sick. I'm definitely going to be going for one. It's probably going to be the olive, although the black also looks really nice. This camo, though, <laughs> is kind of fire as well, man. I don't blame all three colors. You can't go wrong. These Griffin jackets are going to be a must cop. Those are going to fly, I'm sure. Um, flannel reversible. Okay. My, my hopes are kind of high for this one. Show me something pretty, bro. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. You know what? I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. I'm going to be nice guy Boone on this one. I feel like these might look a lot harder in person. Wait, we didn't see the brown, boys. We saw the black and the blue. Let me see that Travis Scott colorway, though, one time. <sighs> I don't know. It's a little more yellow than I was expecting. The black one's actually sick on this. As much as I try to avoid doing black, I kind of am digging the black one on this. I don't know if I'd actually buy it. Hey, these are looking interesting. Scott Canvas down. Tr Ooh. Ooh. These are fire, bro. These, these are pretty hard. I wish they kept the brown collar on all of them. That black one is sick. Rocking with this, although it is Scott. So, like... <laughs> this is gonna be expensive as hell man we all know by now but it's only down insulated fill it's not leather it looks like this is one of my favorite jackets so far bro i could see myself buying one of these all three colors are sick but the black is my favorite super clean on that that's actually fire full skin work jacket this looks so similar to a stussy jacket i just saw them release like last season um these are pretty clean though i'm not gonna lie but i don't know if they're worth copping um, I just hate track jackets. Y'all probably know this by now. I don't do track jackets. Skip, 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 skip. Stopper fleece. This is the fleece of the season, bruh. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm sorry. That's not it. Um, and hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What in the absolute fuck is going on, on my screen right now? We got a Pillsbury Doughboy varsity jacket. Supreme got into their goofy bag one time. I'm not hating. Hey, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. I'm not hating, all right? This is actually kind of, ooh, what? On the acid green with the dough boy? Bro, this is kind of fire, bro. I don't even know what to say. I'm literally like, this is what I love about Supreme, bro. If you had told me this morning, just shook me when I woke up, like, boom, there's gonna be a Pillberry Doze Boy varsity Mitchell and Ness jacket. I would've smacked you across your fucking mouth, bro. Cause like, just who the fuck came up with this shit, bro? It's kind of sick, though. I actually am fucking with it. Um, this The blue color is the best. The fucking acid's weird, but the jackets are kind of disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I think that Scott jacket's probably my favorite of the bunch. I do like the flannel reversible. The Griffin jackets are fire. I'll give you that okay. But I do think for a fall winter season where jackets are supposed to be sort of like the main item like of the whole season, there wasn't one that super stood out to me as like, oh my god, everyone's gonna be chasing after this. Maybe the Griffin jacket. Let's get into it. Uh, heavy flannel. I actually really do. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of a weird color, but I do dig the flannels from Supreme every season. These are not it though. The colors are too crazy. Crazy. Nylon filled shirt. Um, you can keep it, Chief. It's very dull. Amen Pedabon, we've already seen it. Shearling lined. Ooh. Ooh, 
ooh, they didn't need the logo. And the colors lost me a little bit. Next up, Quilted Corduroys. Uh, these are actually kind of sick, man. I'm actually fucking with these. Like I just said, I do like quilted a lot. I would have liked a green color. I, I'm going to be saying this a lot probably. I'm an olive boy at this point. Um, I think an olive color would have looked really nice on this. Brushed flannel twill. What are these? These are actually kind of clean, man. I could see myself picking one up. I know it might be boring to y'all. Actually, this brown's pretty sick. Kind of like an orangey brown, but I don't know. The colorway choices so far on a lot of stuff I've seen, I'm not like super excited about. Heavenly silk polo. I just, <laughs> you will not see me in this my guy like I just there's zero chance I could pull some shit like this off would love to see that on like a plate or something like that um oh, oh. <laughs> this is an all-time grail for me and they're bringing it back leave it to Boone to bust a nut in the fucking flannel section my guy yo you guys do not understand 2015 shadow plaid zip up an item I have been trying to buy from supreme for years at this point popularly rocked by Ian allegations Connor if they have the maroon color I'm a pop off right now oh my God. What, are we doing? Unbelievable. what are we doing I need all three back come on oh lord I was not ready for them to bring this one back this is one of those low-key sleeper supreme items a lot of you probably did not know existed but I oh my god and it's got a little baby hit bro I need <laughs> oh, just bring it back in boom come on we're only like a third of the way through I might have to change my underwear in a second. Holy Lord, bro, I cannot believe they brought these back. Oh my, let's go, boys. That's a W, that's a W for mankind. Thank you, James Javier. I'm gonna need that. The red, also, we gotta talk about that brown one time. <laughs> oh Lord, let's go, let's go. We're turning up now, folks. Oh my God, that got me fucking hyped. I need those when they drop. What the fuck is that? Um, Skull short sleeve, this is actually kind of a vibe, dude. Put that on a T or something. F shut up, Dad Plaid. We don't care. I'm trying to look at this, bro. This is actually fucking crazy. I really fuck with that. Artwork by Cockney. That's a, I probably said that wrong, hopefully, because that's a weird name, but that's actually a super sick design, man. I hope we see some more from my boy Cockney. I don't know about that name. Ooh, okay. Hold on. Uh, okay, it's kind of fire too, man. I actually am digging these. The house too. Oh my lordy, bro. Doughboy work shirt, bro. This might have to do it. I might. Hold on. We got to go back to this one time though. This kind of red orange. I, I think it's a red. I don't know. Fire. I actually really fuck with that. But where's my Doughboys at, bro? Raw reason Doughboys. All right, sorry. I'm just getting excited, man. This is fucking gas. I. I'm probably not actually gonna buy it when it drops, but damn do I love it. It really reminds me of some vintage shit you would see. Like, shirt section was kind of popping, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. This might be the best flannels lineup I've seen in a while from Supreme, which I'm hyped on. I actually love flannels. It's fall, flannel season. Let's go. Pops and sweaters time, starting it off with a weird one, bro. The Cowichan sweater. Um, these are actually a super dope model for sweaters. You might have seen that Hysteric Glamour one I rock. Um, that's actually a Cowichan. I also have like a vintage one. I love this style of jacket. It. Super glad to see Supreme making one, but I'm not very hyped on the box logo. It's kind of obnoxious, but I do like that they're bringing out this jacket model. Next up, Rocket Sweater. This is actually sick, dude. I actually am fucking with this. I usually don't love like their super big print sweaters like this, but I'm actually really vibing with this one. Um, ooh, the blue's nice too, but that black, bro. That, that one's actually kind of, I might, I might even have to cop. I might even have to cop that one, to be honest. Mohair blend, I'm there. I'm there for the mohair, come on. Oh, <laughs> it's cardigan time, boys. Let's hop on in this cardigan now. Swan dive into the best night of your life. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, yeah. No, that's in the cart. That's in the cart. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all it's going to resell. We did that already. Um, I loved last season's cardigans, and they're doing brutal. But, it, oh, the perp, though. Oh lord, they went all out on this cardigan, man. These are actually super sick. The black's fucking terrible. That purple and that green might both have to come over to my house, bro. Holy. Last season's cardigan, like I was saying, did fucking terrible. But now that it's fall winter, I do think prices are going to start climbing for it. A lot of cardigans just... And all the sweater, sweatshirt type items suffer in spring, summer. It's fall, winter season, boy. We're back on track. Ooh, I just got to look at this one more time. Ooh, bro, it's definitely in the green for me. That green with the yellow and the, uh, just I love that. I love that card again. Um, Y'all were ready for me to react to that. Faux fur zip up. I don't know, Chief. I don't know about this one. Um, it might look a lot better in hand, to be honest, because you can see the glare from the white light. Like, it's just looking fucking horrendous on the faux fur. 
Maybe. I, I don't love the colorways too much. Maybe like that blue or the brown. I actually have the faux fur um, cow little cardigan. <laughs> of course, I like that one, right? Um, and I love that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get one of those. Y'all know I love my cardigans, but I got to take a peek at this, bro. Oh, that is fire, dog. I actually am fucking with I could not wear this, but like, I really am digging the colorway on this one. It reminds me almost, I don't even know, bro. It's some like Martian shit. These are sick. I wish we got like one more color. As much as I love that loud one, the right person's gonna rock the fuck out of it. I could not personally. And let's take a look at my Doughboy. This is definitely the corniest Doughboy the item of them all. Like what the fuck is this, bro? I can't even speak on this. I've been hyping up the Doughboy all oh, lookbook. Boys, I'm gonna have to sit this one out. That, that one's a little goofy. But wait a second. Oh, Lordy Supreme. We are going crazy in the tops and sweaters right now, bro. We are pouring bottles in the tops and sweaters section this is a fire little thing black though bro i'm gonna have to get one of those to be honest i'm really fucking with those those are clean dice sweater nice little clean thing all right not bad reminds me of something like stussy would do or something um not my favorite probably not gonna cop what in the absolute christmas burglar shit is this bro this is literally like the man that comes down your chimney to steal your shit on christmas day ass what the fuck um no i'm not feeling i mean the black's definitely cleaner it's fun to see supreme doing some inventive stuff though oh god supreme how do y'all know the way to my heart bro like i swear to god Mohair, bro, just gets me every fucking time. And this blend right here, like, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, man. I don't even know what color to call this, but I'm fucking with it. It looks like it's some dog hair. Um, yes, sir. I'm gonna need that, bro. I'm gonna need that. That's fire. I'm really digging that. What are these? We don't care. Those are terrible. Two-tone sweaters. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay. Oh, the hockey jerseys. These are pretty sick, man. Um, the hockey jerseys are always really fun. And Supreme's been doing some really good ones recently. I don't think this is the their best oh the backs out with the stars though the, but it's up there man this one's actually sick i do think last season's was better but this is still gonna be a cop definitely gonna have profit if you're still holding the ones from last season like i told y'all they're in the 200 pluses i think they're like 128 retail buy the hockey jerseys folks bigger sizes let's keep going uh layered hooded look uh, no thank you crashes no nope i'm good off that polar tech long sleeve polo this is actually kind of sick uh, the white i'm digging the cream um the green's also nice Currency, I just gotta look at this. Oh my god, no. Hell no. Uh, Lion's Den. Who the fuck's gonna wear that, bro? I swear, Andrew Tate fans be rocking this shit. Uh, no love. The short sleeve tops, they just find the corniest shit to put on, bro. Like, come on. Wash Capital. Uh, I mean, they're clean, but these are pretty boring. I usually do like one of the short sleeve tops, and I like none of those, so that's cool. Denim baseball jersey. What the fuck is this, bro? Sometimes they get so goofy on these baseball jerseys when all we need is just a clean little, like, logo on the front, bro. We don't want all of this. I'm not even gonna look at the colorways. I'm oh, the Mary Rhinestone kind of goes crazy. I, I wouldn't really buy this, but it's kind of funny. Gremlins hockey jersey. I don't know about this one. I was hyping up the other hockey jersey. Oh my god, bro. Okay, never mind. I actually haven't seen this movie, to be honest with y'all, but I do recognize this little homie. Um, these are kind of fire, actually. All right, I take it back. I, I was This one was a little weird. I didn't like the colorway too much, but on the USA colors, man. Um, this is terrible. That, that is so bad. Those hockey jerseys are fucking hilarious, though, for real. Uh, cut out, no thanks, Republica Thermal, kind of sick actually, but I would not buy it. Uh, I'm just skipping over a lot of these, dude, I don't know, I would not really, oh wait, this one's kind of cool, that's a little funky, this looks like some 90s graffiti you see on some subway car, these are actually a vibe a little bit, I don't, again though, the colors, man, Supreme, you gotta do better on these colorways, man, there's a lot of potential on this. But I'm just not too big a fan of the colorways. But yeah, I'm just skipping over all of these. I'm not really liking the long sleeve tops. This soccer jersey is actually the weirdest shit I've ever seen. So loud, so loud. Um, but that does it. The top half of this section. Can we give it a round of applause, man? Holy. So far, the knitwear, like the cardigans, the mohair sweaters, all that good shit, as well as the flannels are carrying. They are fucking carrying. Let's go to sweatshirts, though, fellas. Starting it off, elephant hooded sweatshirt. What in the absolute fuck is happening? Um, who did the art on these? These are actually kind of sick. Sean Crawford. I'm not sure who that is, but I actually am kind of rocking with those. Um, capital hooded sweatshirt. Don't care. Boring hockey hooded sweatshirt. 
Kind of cool for hockey fans. The colorway is actually pretty solid. There might actually be profit on some of those. Tag hood sweatshirt. Oh, they got that Philly Wicked style going, man. That's actually super sick. Um, if you don't know, like this obviously says Supreme, but this is a graph style that's like super hard to read. It's pretty much like the signature Philly style. I can't do it. It's really hard to do this Wicked style. Um, but these are sick hoodies. I don't, I'd like it on a t-shirt more so. I like. I just don't like buying hoodies. It's $158 for a logo you could have put on a tee or a short sleeve top. Like a short sleeve top mini logo might have been sick. Um, stay, that just looks mid. Um, the Griffin zip up hooded sweatshirt, man. These Griffin items are so sexy, dog. This cream is so sick. That might be the best one. Next up, the S logo. Y'all know, man. They've taken my S logo through the fucking the train that shit, bro. Um, and the devil horns, I'm not a fan, honestly. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's like definitely not the worst they've done. If they put that on a hat, which I'm assuming they're going to, that's kind of sick to be honest, but um, not it for the hoodie for me. Gremlin hoodie, these are pretty sick. I'm guessing we're gonna get a full collab, maybe like a T. That would be pretty dope, but like I said, like, like with every movie ever, I've not seen it, so I'm not super like tied with that design. Um, the Milano half zips, kind of a vibe actually. Skulls, oh dude, this one is fucking dope. I, I don't know what it is with this. My boy Cockeye went fucking crazy. Cockney, sorry. I, my bad Cockney. But you went crazy on this whole concept, bro. I actually really love this. On like a pair of shorts or something, that would be super dope. Hopefully we see one more item. I feel like we might see it on some sweatpants. Um, born ass hoodie. Uh, the Iraq zip. Oh, we're getting some Iraq items. Oh, I mean, this is pretty fucking brutal to look at, but a lot of graffiti shit going on this season though so far uh iraq famous crew ear snot comes from iraq i've actually seen iraq stuff at the supreme shop so i'm not surprised to see the two collabing we've seen travis scott wear iraq shit um virgil abloh just like a really well-known graffiti crew i can't wait to see more stuff out of this collection hopefully this is not the only item um but i've actually been considering getting some iraq like the hat or something recently this might make me do it because i don't know supreme's about to blow them up and make them fucking sell out moving on um scattered applique no thank you uh, I don't care what the absolute dick shit is this man kind of fun but I wouldn't buy it um, a lot of just logo shit right now going on with these hoodies man not loving it um, the hoodies are kind of mid I'm not gonna lie this one's actually dope I, I love this font I feel like I've never seen them do an oldie font with that s like that like I actually really dig that the gradient I think is what I'm loving that gradient down the sleeve this is actually super sick easily without question I think that brown is the best color that's actually such a fire hoodie might be one of my favorites so far what is this cream like okay all right we've been going for 30 minutes and my camera just stopped recording I did bring us back for the patchwork zip up hood sweatshirt. This one's fucking sick, man. I'm actually vibing with this a lot. Um, I don't think I'd actually buy it. Like, I wish I could see this stuff in hand, man, because it's one of those items I need to see in hand to truly judge, but definitely pretty reminiscent of the patchwork anorak that is very famous by this point. Um, definitely a different vibe on this one. But I'm kind of rocking with it. It reminds me of so many middle school prints, like the annoying plaid, the like cheetah leopard print going on, the stars. Pretty sick jacket. I like the concept. This is actually kind of clean. I wouldn't buy it, but I don't mind it. Um, mock neck pullover. Fuck no. Oh, the box logo. Box logo next. Probably my least favorite box logo, so I'm not gonna get too hyped over these. Um, I do remember the green color went crazy last time they did a box logo like this in the crew neck form. Let's look a little. <sighs> Who the fuck said zebra print was the move? Like that's just not okay. That that is just not okay, man. That's not gonna cut it. Um, we've seen some beautiful patchwork going on, a patchwork box logo crew neck. Might have gone stupido, bro. But I will say, is that black on gray? That is pretty clean. I feel like they did a black on gray crew neck way back in the day. I might be wrong. Very reminiscent colorway, though. Some 90s shit we would see from Supreme box logos. I think the best colors here are going to be the green, that gray, the brown, and probably the black. I really think the gray is my favorite, though. I like Of all these, for me to actually wear myself, I really am vibing with that gray. I don't think I'd actually keep this though, to be honest with y'all. I just, I'm past my box logo phase, but actually a pretty solid one, man. Better than the last crew next they did, in my opinion. Holy fuck, this Supreme fumble the bag every fucking season when it comes to like the goofy colorway box logo. Like last season, that fucking Minecraft camo. <laughs> 
huh? Like, what the fuck were we thinking with that? And now we got the zebra print. Like, Supreme, come on, bro. You just fucking airballed that shit like Ben Simmons, my guy. Like, look what's next up, bro. Imagine they put this hoe on the box logo. That would've been way too crazy. But this is fucking sick. Go, go away under... I'm, I'm trying to look at the fire zip up, bro. It's literally called fire zip up. Like, how could you not think it's fire, man? Y'all knew that I was gonna say that. This is really dope though. I actually really am fucking with this, man. I could see myself potentially buying this. If there's a pair of pants with this, we might have an issue. If there's no pair of pants with this, shout out Enoch Perez, bro. Go off, King. Go off, Enoch. Show him what's up. I actually really like that zip up a lot, if you can't fucking tell with my annoyingness. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, what in the absolute fuck is happening? AOI. AOI is on some weird shit. I kind of fuck with it. I came in hate, but I would not wear. Doughboy zip up. Uh, have we dead? Oh my god, what are those strings? Bro? Hold on, we gotta go back for the strings. They really put the little doughboy like collar on the uh, whoever fucking thought of that shit. Fuck you, bro. What are you doing? Come on. Dog. Oh, never mind. These are two different items. Okay, you stupid. That's, I thought. <laughs> Fuck. I thought they were like mimicking this shit on the doughboy. Maybe I'm just thousand IQ, bro. Cause I, I don't know. All right, let's just move on. Um, so that's gonna do it. Windstopper work best. Pretty boring. So the hoodie section definitely like, I don't know, not the best we have seen, but there's some cool shit in here, no doubt. Um, it's actually not terrible. I actually think it's pretty decent, but I will say the logo items felt really, really dull. Sometimes Supreme makes some logo items even high, I have to say, like are pretty sick, but the really funky hoodies here, like the elephant, um, even the skulls one, the tag one, obviously the patchwork, the fire zip up, like some of the really loud, obscene ones, even like, I guess this is the best logo one. Um, it's great wall. Some of the funky ones I was really liking this time around, but let's go to the fucking pants, boys. Everyone's got to stand up for the pants section. Come on. Come on, let's ride pants section. Come on, show me some heat. Let's go. Starting it off, uh, as great as the great wall design has been, man, I'm not really feeling it on these pants right now. Let's look at these other colors real fast. There's only two colors. Okay, well, I'm not really feeling those too much, but not the worst. Not the worst. Actually, the green's kind of interesting. Um, the script, I'm not digging the script. The man, I'm like, come on, Supreme. I just don't really like this one too much. Um, these probably will sell out and everything, but I don't think I'm going to be buying a pair. A little too loud. <sighs> Y'all can do these, bro. I'm good off of them. I'm not really a big Paisley person anymore. Those are a skip. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Not the biker knees, bro. I was about to say, these are kind of hard. But they got the biker knees, bro. Like, this trend is dead as hell, my guy. These better... I mean... Don't do it, Boone. Don't fucking buy these, bro. Don't do it to yourself. They're kind of sick, though. I'm not gonna lie. I actually am fucking with the blue pair a lot. But, like, the biker denim was just such a, like, 2018 trend that, like, I might have to shoot myself. But I might also buy them. Fuck it, bro. They're kind of sick. Vanson has been killing it with their Supreme collabs lately. The layer jeans... These are pretty sick, actually. I actually do fuck with these. Um, I'd probably get the black pair. The black's actually fire. This looks like some like crazy designer shit, to be honest with y'all. Might be a cop right there. Studded velour. Actually, kind of a vibe, dude. I usually don't like hype up the velour much, but I actually kind of fuck with those. They're really clean. The colors are really nice. Two-tone panel jeans. Those go crazy, bro. They kind of got their rig like little cross section going on. Denim cutouts. I don't know. Those are kind of fire, actually. Uh, ooh, okay, ooh, Supreme in their bag of loves. Right, my voice sounds so annoying right now. Supreme got in their bag on these though. These are actually really sick. These two colors, even the red is not bad, man. This is actually a really dope pant. I'm liking this pant section so far. Um, next up, uh, AM1, the Griffin. Oh, Lordy Louie, are right, we gonna need these. Definitely not the camo. The green. I was begging for the green on this too. Y'all probably already knew it. We're like, boom, just wait on the pants, my guy. It's gonna be all okay. I need those, bruh. I need those. The, oh, the olives are so fire on those. Bro, this pants section. Woo! Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Moleskin, double knees. I'm there. I'm just there. I, even the cheetah is kind of a vibe. I actually like the cheetah they chose, but these navies, I really was fucking with actually. I might get those. The cheetah's, uh, the cheetah's kind of sick though, I'm not gonna lie. Is this cheetah or leopard? I don't fucking know. Maybe it's leopard. I'm sorry to offend my fucking leopard enthusiast. I actually really like those double knees though. Very clean, basic. Why did I even click on those? It was terrible. Um, uh, they're whatever. Leather five pocket. Um, I just can't afford these. I got some leather pants. There were some faux leathers last season. Those are actually affordable. Window pane wool trousies? Hold on. Is this just one pair? Ooh, 
it out. This gray pair, man. These are actually nice, dude. Damn. Ooh, into the whatever the hell these are thing. I mean, definitely the denim pair. These are a vibe. Like, this is some shit you'd wear on Monaco or something, my guy, while you're listening to that new Drake album at the club. Like, come on. Um... That sounded kind of corny, I'm sorry. Oh, these are kind of sick. I thought these were graphed for a sec. I might have noted. But this pants section, man, this is actually super sick. So much diversity going on right now with these pants. Regular jeans. Ugh, no, you lost me. I mean, they're fun. Like, they're definitely sick, but I could not wear those. Um, baggy jeans, these would probably sell out pretty decently fast. The baggy jeans did really well last season. Um, they sold out crazy quickly. Doughboy chinos, are we doing it? Are we doing the Doughboy chinos, boys? Just raise your hands if you are. I don't know if I am personally. Yes, I am. What the fuck you think I'm talking? No, I probably won't get those. Maybe I will. Who knows? All right, fuck it. Let's keep going. Work pants. Is there a cool like little pattern on it? Nope. Pretty boring. Regular jeans we've seen. Uh, flight pants. Don't care. Don't care. Let's see the denim overall. Uh, usually there's like some kind of logo hit on these. Am I just missing it? Are they just truly that dull this season? Oh, the elephant sweatpants. These are fun, man. I really do like this elephant design. I don't know if I could actually wear it like that, but kind of fun. Kind of a fun time there a little party s logo uh supreme iraq sweatpants i just don't like the way they did this iraq collab literally just like an iraq and a supreme like just stack of the two logos would have been fine with me the all over is just way too crazy besides that just some kind of basic sweatpants and stuff the small box cargos are kind of clean but yeah this pants section is crazy bro this is like one of the most designer looking pants sections i've seen it from supreme you got the layer jeans you got the vansons going crazy the great china reminds me of some amiri shit or something Something, the two-tone the moleskins were a fucking vibe uh, the Griffins might be one of the pants of the season I can't really rock the Republica, but they're sick. The window pane wool trouser, I'm like, dude, this pants section is fucking bonkers, bro. I was not ready for that. Let's go to the shorts. There's literally three pairs of shorts. These are simply not it. These are, let's look at the colors. They are just so bad. The colors could not have been worse. I could not theorize worse colors than that. And the small box sweatshirt we see every season. All right, short section, get the fuck out of here. Let's go to the week one tees. Andre 3KT, bro. This is such a sick photo tee. Obviously, we all know Outkast is one of like the most iconic hip hop groups of all time. Like probably top two, top three. No, Migos is not one. Migos probably is, but Outkast above all rap groups, maybe in my opinion. That's a pretty fucking spicy take. I don't know if I actually mean that, but yeah, this is a sick shirt, man. This one should actually do pretty decent. Andre 3000, one of the more relevant like recent celebrities we've seen on one of these photo tees. Not to hate on other people on photo tees like people got love for Rick Rubin but people don't got love for Rick Rubin like they do Andre 3000 man let's keep it real I just love it every time we get a hip-hop artist on one of these photo tees so I am super excited with this one man um, I don't know if I'd actually wear it myself just cuz I don't really wear photo tees anymore like that I still got a couple but super sick choice here I'm super excited with that um, trash tee uh, actually kind of a funny one pretty political but I'm not mad about it it's, it's a clever little thing uh, Wombat tea. Okay, we got my boy Wombat in the house. If you guys don't know, Wombat, a New York graffiti artist. Um, pretty funny to see another like collab with local New York graffiti dudes. Supreme just, they know their roots, man. So, um, cool shirt here. By the way, I also wonder if Andre 3000 was a Tremaine Emery choice. I should have said that. So I want to say Tremaine Emery's from Atlanta. Bam! Yeah, he's from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Where is from? Bro, my, my brain is frazzled. But yeah, ATL connection. That has to be a Tremaine Emery item right there. Catwoman tea. I gotta take a look. Ooh! Oh shit, the chicks are busting out the fucking, oh, boys, what are we doing, bro? This, this shit just turned to some kinky shit, cat lady, god damn. Nah, this tea color is also fire. This is such a dope graphic, though, bro. This is easily a cop. This is with the little fucking ball of yarn, bro. Come on, this is a fuck. this... Yo, this season going nutty right now, bro. I swear to God. This might be one of the best week one tea lineups I have seen. And the elephant tea with the Tims on, bro. The spray paint looking graphic. Like, or airbrush, I should say. Ooh, I, I was not ready for these t-shirts. I, I also just completely skipped over the Slapshot tee. A very famous Supreme logo right here. Um, obviously like a rip of the LA Kings, but we've seen Supreme do this logo many times. I love to see him do it on a tee. The Lakers colorway fire, man, bro. This, yo, this, this tee, I was, I'm losing my mind, bro. I can hardly even speak right now. Warning tee, pass it on to others, warn other people. I'm not gonna bullshit y'all, it's a boring ass shirt. All right, I, I was trying to say something nice. 
Um, what is this? Uh, looks like some Weirdo Dave. I'm getting sick of the Weirdo Dave. I'm, I'm rocking Weirdo Dave right now. See, this is the good Weirdo Dave, man. Just crazy shit all over. Just some, like, obscenery. But recently, they've been doing a bunch of these, like, letter cutouts. Like, just phrases and stuff. And it just it doesn't vibe with me the same, bro. It feels kind of corny. This photo alone, just on a tee, would have been sicker than all this other bullshit. So, I'm not really vibing with it. And fi what in the absolute... Fuck, dude, Supreme literally has the most obscene shirts sometimes, man. Like, this is a reason Supreme is goaded to me. As much as I hate this shirt, it's still pretty fucking sick just because of how ridiculous it is, man. Like, you could never in your wildest dreams imagine up this tee design. Um, pretty sick. This tee lineup goes crazy, though. The Andre 3000, the Wombat's kind of not wearable, to be real with y'all, but just like the Andre 3000 Slapshot Catwoman is an elite combo. The Elephant tee is pretty fire, too. The other ones are kind of mid, but the Trash tee as well as the Braces are, like, fun, I guess. So we're getting down to it, man. Um, we've been going for so long. If you haven't dropped a like, and if you're still watching, I fucking love you for real, man. Like, y'all y'all real as hell for watching me talk about this bullshit this long. We're gonna go kind of fast through the hat. The Griffin cam caps are going to sell for so much fucking money. Like, the Griffin collab is one of the best of the season. Woven, nah. <laughs> Dude, can I just skip the cam caps? Like, it's the same shit every season. Let's look at the wash chinos, just for old time's sake. These always flip so fucking buttery. Um, the denim one is looking nice this season, boys. I'm kind of got my eyes on that. I think we're in the normal hat section now. Let's take a look. Okay, boiled wool. <sighs> I don't know about these man usually i do hype up the wool hats i mean they're gonna age nicely don't get it twisted but this wool is pretty it's pretty out there not my favorite s logo i was kind of hoping to see a devil's s logo that'd be kind of fun i'm sure it's on a fitted um these are whatever pigment print yeah they've been doing these every season now just like the super faded pigment dyed um i actually really am digging these though that gray is fire man not the best color lineup but not a bad one either um i'm just going through a lot of these what is this oh the iraq mesh oh y'all know i'm gonna get hyped on these man that iraq hit is butter bro oh my lord i wonder who wrote that um god damn that is some butt look at that k bro look how chaotic that k is like that shit is coming at you sideways this will probably be a cop for me i wish we had seen more stuff in this iraq collab kind of like this bro just straight like graffiti shit not like just the iraq branding so much pin up mesh back these are buttery, man. I love this logo. I super love this logo. This is definitely going to be a cop for me. Hat section, not too bad. Uh, oh, the Pillsbury does with the Pillsbury hit, bro. I just love this, like, fucking design this season. It's so weird. Um, let's see these. The New York, yeah, these are probably going to go crazy. I don't give a fuck about fitteds, to be honest. That's a wave I just have never hopped on, so it's kind of irrelevant for me. Knew we were going to see the Devil S's. Velour box logo, New Era's? I don't know about this one. See, why could we have not gotten this patch on, like, a jersey or something? That's what I'm saying. They get too crazy with the baseball jerseys. If they put this on a jersey, I'd be buying it right fucking now, man. Leather ear flaps. These are kind of fire. That's definitely a New York vibe. Oh, wow. Oh, how did I almost skip these, bro? Damn, we got the sports specialty script. Oh, another iconic design a little fun history for y'all in the kids mixtape cover with mac miller he's rocking this exact supreme design i think it's on like a mets colorway though um these are fucking gorgeous you got like the georgetown colorway i guess like a unc maybe i don't even know with this one i don't really bowls i guess the browns color is hitting the hardest though you got the yankees too also that georgetown bro these are fucking glorious i'm so glad i actually saw these Yes, sir, bro. Love to see those. This is a fucking crazy hat section, to be real with y'all. Um, Cordura, Puffer, Reflect. These are kind of sick, actually, man. Mohair Crochet Crushers. Oh, those look like a sweat box, man. I would like to see some crochet. Not with Mohair, though. Catwoman Beanie. These are so bust down, bro. Like, holy... Oh, my God. All right, I'll calm down. I'll calm down. All right, I'm not going to go through all the beanies, man. It's going to take fucking forever. Holy fucking... Oh, my God. Oh, here's the box logo beanies. I know y'all want to see these. Yeah, that gray, bro. That's definitely my favorite color of all. But that's going to do it. Oh, my God. Iraq balaclava. It's definitely meant for tagging and shit, bro. But I just... I can't with this branding. The way they did it, I don't like it. A lot of balaclavas this season. So let's move on to the bags. This should be a fun one. I haven't looked yet. I already loaded up the page. Hopefully, they're nice because, I don't know. I haven't been loving the bags recently. Let's take a peek. So starting it off, the, back, the gray backpack is just never going to be it, bro. I fucking hate that gray color they're using. These are so reflective looking. Recycled nylon. That is why. Hey, shout out to Saving the Earth, though, all right? Um, so always get the black bag. That's what I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm going to give y'all some fucking insider secrets. Always get the black bag. Um, large haul tote. Why is there a Gons basketball here right now? 
What's, what's that doing there? Hmm. Uh, so pretty cool one. Actually, not really. Not my favorite. It looks like something you take to the bins or some shit. Um, the duffel is kind of boring. I think we all know what this shoulder bag is an ode to. The SS18 shoulder bags, bro. I made so much money off of those. Y'all do not understand, man. Probably the most iconic Supreme shoulder bag of all time. These are fake to fucking hell. So they had to bring it back. Very obvious, though, that this is like a little like redo of that old shoulder bag. I really don't like the colors this season, though, to be honest. Like, obviously, the olive is nice. Organized pouch set. What is this, man? Back to school type vibe. Um, puffer bag. Backpack. I don't know, bro. This is kind of weird. Um, I know y'all gonna go crazy over the bandana print. The puffer side bag, though, is actually kind of fire, dude. These are actually pretty sick. Um, it reminds me of some Bottega shit for sure with the green as well. That has to be an ode to Bottega. Uh, the puffer pouch, kind of fun actually. All right, I, I changed my mind on the puffer stuff. The Paisley looks nice on bags. Don't get it twisted. I don't love it on clothing, but for a bag, it's not too bad. The mainstay bags are pretty dull, but the shoulder bag, they brought it back. So. I don't know boys, we've been going for, probably, you've probably been watching this video like 40 minutes. I don't think we're gonna do accessories today. I always end up doing this. I try my best to look at everything and it just takes so long. So accessories tomorrow in a video, I promise you. But we're gonna go to the shoes. Oh, I just clicked the accessories. I did not mean to do that. I saw the fucking motorcycle, that's it. All right, let's go to the shoes. Don't tell me they're bringing these back, bro. These were supposed to be done for because I have a pair of these. I was holding on to, hoping they're not gonna drop them again. So that's bad news for Boone. Let's look at the skate decks. Box logo t-shirt board. These are pretty fun. I, not my favorite or anything, but actually a cool one here. Paint, it's a painting. That's pretty sick, actually. Not a bad one. Um, the trash skate deck, I hate it. I don't know, it's just so political. Elephant skate deck, these are sick, man. These are pretty cool. Um, I don't think, I hate that they do three colorways though. Like, did we really need three colors of this? I think they should have just done the white or the black. The gremlin skate decks, these might end up doing well over time. Um, again, I haven't seen the movie. I just know this little homie from growing up. But these are pretty fun, bro. These are actually cool decks. Um, Three Kings decks. These are so just like whatever. Sorry, Geo. You kind of missed on that one, Chief. The Doughboy skate deck. What in the Sean Cliver hell is this? This looks like some Sean Cliver shit. It definitely isn't. But oh my god, bro. This is such a funny fucking deck, dude. What in the fuck? I just can't. Oh my god. I'm like, what the fuck? I did not expect that. Uh, I'm digging it though. And then just our normal hardware. So that's going to do it for the lookbook. Accessories tomorrow, like I said. I'm sorry I'm not doing them today, but it's going to take a fucking minute to do the accessories next. I don't want y'all to be here for an hour. And I got to edit this video, man. I almost forgot. I got to give my rating of the season. So I haven't seen accessories yet. But I truly think they're killing it on this season, man. This pant section went crazy. The hoodie, uh, the jackets were weak. I have to say, the jackets were pretty fucking trash for this season. But they really did bring it back with the flannels, um, the knitwear I was loving. The hat section did not look bad at all. The pants was going nuts for me. So, and the t-shirts were really solid. Bags kind of mid. Um, skate decks, I've seen better, but there's some fun ones. Overall, this season is like a seven and a half for me so far. Um, if the accessories are crazy, it's gonna be an eight and a half straight up. Like I saw some really cool shit I want. If the jack, maybe even like a seven, I don't know, seven or seven and a half. If the jackets were better. I would be way geeked over the season, but I really wasn't seeing too many I really cared about very much. But yeah, it's been your boy Boom. I'll see y'all in the next one. I am out of fucking breath, man. I gotta start editing. It's gonna take me a minute. RIP my life. Editing these videos is it's a grind, boys, but it's worth it. As always, hit me up on my Instagram at Boone to join my free Discord. Just DM me, follow me if you really want to. But also, if you wanna join my private cook group browser where I'm gonna be doing a huge write-up of week one when we know what it is, DM us on Instagram at browser or go to our website in the description. It's been your boy, Boone. I'm out of breath, boys, but I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all later. Oh, I'm excited for this. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the accessories. I'm out. Peace.